been getting a lot of questions, and, and it appears that people uh, have heard from the media that you got to put like 20% down to buy a house now. And I want to I want to assure you that that is definitely not true. Certainly not in Indiana. Uh, right here in Indiana, the majority of people that I deal with are getting an FHA or a USDA loan for buying their first home. Let me show you the differences. FHA, 3.5% down payment. 3.5%. No limitations on where you can buy the house, how much money you can make, and not even whether it's your first home. It can be your second home as well. So 3.5% on $100,000 is a $3,500 down payment. So you would think you're borrowing $96,500. There's actually a one-time upfront mortgage insurance premium. It's a 1% upfront. So add to that 965. You are now borrowing 97,465. Your down payment, 3.5%. That's one option. That's the most popular option because there's really no limitations here. This USDA program, what is that all about? Well, it's the United States. Uh, FHA, by the way, is Federal Housing Administration. USDA is United States Department of Agriculture sponsored loan. So this is for rural housing, rural, so not big city in other words. So Fort Wayne proper will, will probably not work for USDA, but outside of Fort Wayne, Huntertown, Auburn, Ossian, Columbia City, those places are available for USDA financing. There are some limitations. You can only make up to a certain amount, but it generally, for a person buying their first home, the limits are much higher than what people are making around here. The good news is on USDA, get this, 0% down. People thought that disappeared, like an extinct, uh, you know, endangered species, but that still is available. So here you would think you're borrowing 100,000, but not so fast for the privilege of um, putting zero down. You roll in a reservation fee of 3.5%. So on this one, you're actually going to borrow 103.5. Now the reason I'm not crazy about this program is the difference right here. Yes, you put zero percent down, but you just bought a hundred thousand dollar house, and now you owe 103.5. So you just have to know that you're doing that. It's a trade-off, right? Yes, less money up front, but when you go to sell the house, you owe more maybe now than the house is worth. So I'm not crazy about that. I am crazy about this because the buyer puts their own money, invests it, and they owe less than the value of the house when they get in the house. So uh, the rates outstanding today on both of these, about four and a half percent with typical $1,900 closing costs. So this is not an estimate. I have to give you a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo if this is an estimate, but just to give you an idea where the market's at today. So yes, folks, you can get a house with very little money down. You do not have to wait to have 20% down. That would kill the housing market. So over 60% of people are buying one of these two programs. So hey, get with me, Chris Sanderson. My cell is 260-414-3511.